how to install Dropbox on Debian desktop. So I'm just going to search for Dropbox, Dropbox download. And then I'm going to come here, download and install Dropbox. And you can see there is a version for Ubuntu. There is Debian 12 down here, and that's the one I'm going to go with. So the system automatically recognizes that I'm on Linux. So it's showing me the different versions for Linux distros. So I'm just going to go with Debian 12 and I will click on the 64-bit version. And I'm just going to wait for the download to finish. The deb installation was pretty small, but that's probably because uh, it's still going to download something once I install it. So let me just come here and I will go into open folder. And here we have our Dropbox. And I'm going to open the terminal here. So I'm just doing this for ease of doing things, but usually you'll just CD into this directory or you can just go there without even CDing, just putting the, the correct path of the Dropbox download file. So I'm just going to come here into this directory and then I'm going to do sudo apt install. I have uh, an alias for that, for sudo apt install. I could do sudo apt install, right? It's just the same. If I do that, press enter. Of course, this is not going to install anything, but it is the same for me on my desktop as doing sci. And that is an alias for that. So I can just do sci and Dropbox tab to autocomplete the name of the file. And then I'll press enter and it's going to install it. And then we're going to download the remaining part once this installation part is complete. All right, so this shows that the installation is complete. So if I come here in my desktop and under internet, it should be here under internet. If I come here under internet on X, on XFCE, I'm going to find Dropbox there under internet. So depending on the desktop environment that you're using, yours will probably be in a different place. So I will open up, I will open up Dropbox. So it is telling us that it's going to download something else. Okay. So it's telling us that Python 3 GPG is not installed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to install that package. This is a problem that usually happens when you're on Ubuntu or Debian. You'll face this. So I'm just going to do sci. I'm just going to do Python 3 dash GPG. GPG, enter. And I'm just going to click OK. And I will let the Dropbox installation continue. So it's downloading something. Once the download is complete, you can use Dropbox. It seems like everything is complete. The progress bar for Dropbox that was here just disappeared. So I'm going to assume that everything is complete. And I'm going to come back into my menu. I'm going to go under Internet. And then I'm going to go into Dropbox once again. And it should give me an option to log in. And now you'll see that it gives me the option to log into my Dropbox on Chrome. So it's going to open your default browser and give you the option to log in. So go ahead and log in. And if I come back here now, if I go to my folders, I should see a new folder called Dropbox. If you go to my home directory and I look in there, I'm going to see that there's a new folder called Dropbox. My files will be added here. And if I add anything here, it will automatically sync to all my other devices. So that's how to install Dropbox on Debian. And you can use the same method for any other Linux distro, or you can try with any other Debian based Linux distro. So just as a way to recap the video, as a summary, 
I'm going to go through the commands that I did one by one. So the first one I did was sci. The first one I did was sudo apt install sudo apt install and then that installed Dropbox. And then after that, I opened Dropbox and I was told that something was missing. So I installed this sudo apt install python3 gpg so i installed that and dropbox downloaded the headless file and after that i opened it and i went to chrome logged in and now dropbox is syncing my files so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to let me know